In this video I want to show how you can test relays and other switches on high current. So uh, what current are they able to handle without problems? Um, I had to do these tests in 2011 uh, when I made my uh, solar inverter circuits and this is one test that I've done. In fact, it's very simple. We charge a very high uh, value capacitor. It is uh, 100,000 microfarad and we charge that to approximately 40 volts and we uh, discharge that capacitor into a switch. Here you see the circuit. The current flows, let's say, through the switch, through the load and then back to the capacitor. I have to say that the tests are destructive and um, one relay uh, got uh, totally damaged uh, by means of this test. But I think it's um, a good way to uh, test uh, high current switches. The load of course here um, is decisive for the current that flows in the circuit. When this load is quite high, this resistor is quite high, no high current can flow from the from the 10,000 microfarad capacitor into the load and also into the switch. So I've charged these two capacitors now, totally 100,000 microfarad, to approximately 40 volts and here I want to demonstrate the first um, effect. I connect a load that consists of two here, two 12 volt uh, 55 watt car lamps in series and here you can see the spark that it gives to the contact. Of course in real you have to take on this location a switch and study whether the contacts from the switch are welded. So some smoke was visible. I charge the capacitors again. It also has gives a spark. Don't get frightened. It isn't very dangerous. And here I show how the lamps, two lamps in series, light up on two completely charged uh, 50,000 microfarad capacitors. So you can see that a substantial amount of energy is uh, dissipated in, in the switch. Charge the capacitor again. It also gives a spark. You have to wait some time. Now it's 41 volts. And now I take four um, lamps. And that's the second circuit here. This was the first test circuit, two lamps. This is the second circuit. And again we're going to study now how good it switches. It will be more substantial. Finally, we take three lamps in series, anti-parallel. Connect this crocodile clip here. Take the older lamps that I have here in parallel. Charge the capacitor again. and discharge it now here. And you can see that it has a very, and now I can even, it welded very much this contact. So when you have a switch here, it's almost sure that you uh, get the contact from the switch welded together. But this is a test circuit and um, when you take 
the uh, discharging resistor not so low as I did here, you can um, easily adapt this circuit to the personal needs. For instance, uh, when you want to test smaller switches on their capacity to handle high currents.